Let's see, that's the big question. Both of the junglers and both of the teams are playing it very, very safe in the early stage. Both of them just roaming properly on the map. Boloiski though, going for the stun. So Sujin is here, goes in for the Divine Blade. On to Boloiski, nothing hitting just yet. And that's gonna be the hook. Dreams bringing Boloiski back as the Tempest of Blaze is there. And Clover picks up first. With the presence that, of course, the Boloiski can have. But once again here, Delarski might be in trouble. They are going to start setting up for this turtle. The General setting up for a flank. Dreams getting zoned away. Zlar once again trying to buy some time. Gonna get stunned up and even in has chain. Not enough to take him down. He has the sprint. He's able to get away. Saz comes in and another hook from Dreams. Bring Beloisky back to the team. Retribution battle. And who gets it? It's Jana QT. So we do see that Evil's Legends are quick to set up for that first. Once again, a stalemate in that bottom side as Dreams here in that jungle will force the flicker rather early and need even get caught out. Yeah, Dreams gonna get taken down here. Kill all oh, Oh. oh my god, the turtle take right there, but the crossbow tank finally <laughs> secures it. Very, very... Evos, they have control in the majority of areas that they are contesting. Janna now with the genius one, so it's looking to be a damage, Julian, but we'll just have to see the rest of the items for now, as he can they make an aggressive play and hit Clover with the Empowered Chain. Ooh, the perfect, perfect setup, but once again, Dreams lands that Iron Hook. Wow. One for one, Dreams. I had to go on to Dreams, try to deny his playmaking, and there, he just almost lands yet another hook. So, with him exposed on top side, though. Yeah, that's gonna be, oh my goodness gracious. I thought it was a mistake, but no, it was not. Dreams with the flicker, and now Delar 1v3 with the Consecration and the Sprint. Trying to buy some time as Veloisky comes in with the stun onto Sutsujin. Retribution Ooh. still won by Janna. Numenon Blast not connecting, Sutsujin getting out. And it's a trade, a one-for-one -one objective turn. What happens as Evo's Legends, they are leading with 500. It can shift, but do we see any significant oh. differences in? Cross. Oh, tank! Oh. No, he didn't even sweat. Oh. He didn't even sweat, Eterna. Delara, the general, is here. He recalls and he gets out. Dreams taken down. And it will be a 1-4-0 trade, but Eterna, Man. Delar, I Palm mean, collected. Like, we thought that Evo's Legends were leading that, but Geek Fam instantly found the opportunity to deny that pressure that they had in that bottom lane and even take Dreams out of the picture. Ooh, he gets taken out. Honestly, a, one, a zero for two trade will also set up everyone else, Top Luke, side. as well as Kadera. And Luke right now, speaking of the devil, gets jumped on by three people. Bloody Hunt taken down. Luke, oh, still able to survive for a bit longer. But look at Geek Fam's response instantly over towards that bottom. Yeah, Evo's Legends, they don't want to commit onto this, understanding that there are a lot of ultimates in their arsenal that are still on cooldown. Meanwhile, Geek Fam, they do have a lot for them to show. So right now, we can see that Beloiski as well as Kadera is looking for a flank, but once again, the Iron Hook connects. Bloody Hunt and the Snipe from Clover in the back lines. But look at the Tempest of Blaze now connecting over. Crossbow of Tang out of nowhere, going on to Dalar, soaking in so much. Elzura trying to find Clover, but Clover still managing to get out with the Flicker. It's a one for one. XP traded for Roamer, but Geek Fam have won the trade. They're going to go straight for the Lord. Beloiski stunning Sutujin up. Jana QT instantly with a response, coming in with the enhanced chain as Taz deals out the damage, comes in, puts in so much chaos order, taking him down. No retribution. As Chadera goes into the back line, no retribution. Such a chin gets it, he steals it away, and Evo's legends come out on top with Lar finishing his oh ex teammate. Boiski running away to Lar the general, taking his ex teammate down. Man, a better setup coming in from Geek Fam, but the initial setup. 3 0 and 2. He is, well, he was the number one Uranus player in season nine of MPLPH, picking it the most and winning six times out of the 11 times that he has picked it. So far, having an amazing impact in this game. And we can see now that the side of Evo's Legends, they're putting way more pressure on all of these three lanes. You can see Ooh. the lane going in that bottom side, changing and taking all those minions. But look at the Lord just marching down here in that... Whoa! Oh, again, Dreams with the hook and Taz with the response. Boloiski taken down. So to get onto the back lines with the Temple of Blades. Goes in, picking up the blades. Luke, Janna and Chadera left to defend. Dreams almost getting it. Ooh. Threading the needle once again. Evo's Legends. I just took the Lord and they're just going to play it disciplinedly. Uranus on the Lar. Look at how much time he's able to buy, but they're looking for more. Oh, Beloisky. Oh. Clover with the reaction time to get out of that one with Dreams as well. And now the collapse. Taz comes in with a Chaos Assault. Almost taking Luke down. So Jin jumping in. See, seeing them as so Jin dives in deep. Getting taken down. Chadera will still be able to survive. Delar picking up Beloisky once again. It's a two for one. Two Ooh. for one now for the side of Evo's Legends, but even though that happened. This is going to be difficult because they are at a man disadvantage right now. Will Geek Fam be able to defend oh, this one? Oh, Chandera! And just like that, Geek Fam 
falls, Glover is massive, 1-0, domination from Evos.